I have been encouraged by the initial support many of our colleagues on both sides of the aisle have expressed for Senator Sessions' nomination. So I look forward to hearing from Senator Sessions and moving to his appointment without delay. Senator Sessions' record is a life of public service. And so we know his story. He was raised in a small town of Hybert, Alabama, where his father owned and ran a small country store. He then studied at Huntington College and the University of Alabama before practicing law in Russellville and Mobile. Senator Sessions has always been an active member of his community. He taught school before attending law school and taught Sunday school at Ashland Place Methodist Church. He served our nation in the Army Reserve, attaining the rank of captain. After his time in private practice, Senator Sessions served as an assistant U.S. Attorney attorney in the Southern District of Alabama. He then headed that office after the Senate confirmed him for U.S. Attorney, a post he held for a dozen years. So all told, this senator, colleague of ours, has served 15 years as a federal prosecutor in the department that he will soon head. It was during that time that he oversaw the investigation of Klansman Francis Hayes for the brutal abduction and murder of a black teenager, Michael Donald. He made sure that case was brought to state court where the defendant was eligible for and received the punishment that he justly deserved, the death penalty. His office then successfully prosecuted that murder's accomplished in federal court. Based on his prosecutorial record, the people of Alabama elected him their attorney general and then their senator. He has served with us since 1997, and as our former chairman observed, this committee has relied on him for his prosecutorial experience during the course of his Senate service. Throughout his public service, both within the department and outside of the department, he has raised his hand and served when called upon. He has done his duty, enforced the law fairly, and let the chips fall where they may.